We're seeing some volatility, but overall the numbers are not looking good. Uh, it's been harder to find gasoline in South Florida. We've seen the number jump to about 43% of stations in Miami without fuel. 32 in West Palm Beach right now. Gainesville, even Gainesville at 33%. And the numbers are starting to climb in terms of more stations with outages. How bad can this get? I mean, uh, can, could we see a majority of gas stations in Miami completely dry? Well, you know, as evacuations continue to ramp up, there's insatiable demand for gasoline in South Florida. And as you heard from the governor, there's a lot of wheels moving to get gasoline to the market. Gas Buddy being one of those wheels, trying to relay information that the state is getting uh, in terms of what stations will be resupplied. I think it's going to be very touch and go. It could become very challenging. There is fuel that is still showing up to pumps. A lot of major stations are refueling key locations. And Gas Buddy certainly a key in trying to deliver that vital information to motorists trying to get out of the way. Patrick, what is normal ahead of a crisis like this as far as a number of gas stations in a major metropolitan mm -hmm. area that will run out? Well, an area like Florida that's, you know, perhaps more used to evacuations than Houston uh, is probably a little bit better off. But we really can throw everything that we know out the window because Harvey just uh, bowled into the Gulf Coast and really impacted shipments of gasoline to these affected areas. So there's not a whole lot on, on record when you have Harvey that's impacting the Gulf Coast, which, by the way, is where Florida gets a considerable amount of gasoline supply. There's a lot of gasoline trying to flow to Florida now, but there's a question of when Irma will make landfall. How long will those ports stay open? What will the Coast Guard do? The fuel is coming, but there are some challenges to getting it in motorist gas tanks. What's happening with prices as we continue to see these fuel shortages mm -hmm. spread across Florida? Well, the only good news there is that Irma is not a gas price event. We are not seeing massive increases in prices, thankfully. There's not a whole lot of energy infrastructure here uh, that's at risk. And that's why Irma across the country is not going to be a gas price event. You may see localized impacts in prices. South Florida, as availability becomes a little tighter, you could see a little bit of effect in Georgia and the Carolinas as well. But again, it's a very localized impact. The national average is starting to slow down as a result of Harvey now being out of the way. Finally, Patrick, uh, is gouging a serious concern of yours or not? Well, you know, it, it is a concern that we're watching. I think there's been a challenge in Florida. The price gouging law tends to be a little weaker. I remember last year we saw Hurricane Matthew. And stations, the, the way the price gouging law is, doesn't really offer a whole lot of help to motorists. Some stations near Orlando's airport, as long as they don't raise their prices after Harvey, they can still continue to charge $5.99 a gallon. So. In times like this, it'd be really important to have a price gouging law that's very strong, at least when it comes to gasoline. But the gasoline prices, we're not seeing a whole lot of widespread reports on gouging. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.